Hey everybody, welcome to another video, it's me Nosy, and today, as you can see, I'm doing this via my webcam in my room, in the Nosy layer, if you will. Uh, I haven't done many videos in this in my bedroom where all the magic is and where all my figures are actually displayed. I need to do more like this because I think this is where things started for me as a YouTuber, where, well... To a point, though, there was a couple of phases that I went through, um, but for the most part, I did a lot of my reviews via a webcam, and uh, I feel that gives a bit of a person, bit of a personal approach. Um, a lot of people are still doing the whole thing where they're sat at their desktop computers or what have you, um, and I quite like it when people do that. So today's video is going to be a top five now. I want to do more of these, I, and I did a top 10, um, I want to do some more top 10s, and I want to do some more top 5s, and I want to do this sort of a video on the side of my regular reviews and my movie reviews. Without further ado, I'm doing a top 5 on my top 5 favourite gimmicks on a Transformer or Transformers gimmicks on toys. So let's get into this. So let's start with number five. Number five will be a, it's a gimmick on a very recent toy line that I am growing to really enjoy. And it's the Siege line, obviously. And I'm a big fan of the idea of this gimmick that is a part of this toy line. Um, I don't have many of the toys, but I do have a reference point, a few reference points here as I go along. So here's Cog. is a complete figure, but you can take bits off of this guy, and uh, not just this guy, but all the all the all the figures in the line. You can kind of use their weapons. You can also take like certain parts off of some figures. Uh, I believe like that <laughs> so you can take quite a few figures off uh, parts off of them and kind of swap them to kind of make them like a su like a super mode like a battle mode and i'm a big big fan of the siege gimmick so number five has to be the siege line gimmick so number four has to be another line that's fairly recent um, part of the whole Combiner Wars trilogy and uh, I really love the Titan Returns gimmick um, again this is something you can see in two ways uh, some characters don't make any sense being headmasters because they never wear headmasters in the series it's a way to get more figures out there and obviously, it's, it's, it's all about making money. So, but there are some characters. I mean, I'm using this guy. Cause I don't. This guy was never a headmaster, but I'm just using him as a reference point. But I do like the whole headmaster gimmick. I, I, again, I've always. I, I'm a big fan of headmasters. And I do like where you can get like these little guys and mix up their their heads but like i said I don't, I don't think it really makes any sense for this guy but um just to give you another reference point is these little guys which are these little titan master little things um this i believe is is it ape face sorry if i'm wrong with that but um these guys combine or kind of transform if you will into like a big head for like the bigger figures but you also get like a small little head with these as well that can post into coexisting figures within the line so again personally i think it's a really cool little again playable factor that i have that this personally has drawn my attention and i really do like it so number three on this list is Now, number three has to be some of the, the, the Beast Wars gimmicks. Now, again, <laughs> you can look at it both ways. But I've always really enjoyed the gimmick on Primal, on the original Primal. So here's the original Primal. Um, I like the idea where he has compartments to him 
um, shootable missile launchers in his shoulders, um, and obviously has two swords. But I like the idea where he has a compact. There's like uh, an additional guns that pop out, and also he has a mace um, as well that that goes in a compartment, I believe, in this in this arm. I just really like that because it's it's accessory gimmicks that I've ro always enjoyed mainly because the you know, majority of the Beast Wars toys have a gimmick of their own. Some of them combine, some of them um, have gimmicks that don't work too well, but I've always loved the gimmick on the bigger toys like the on Primal, uh, Baboom, um, Megatron, etc. So Beast Wars gimmicks on the bigger toys, I love them. So, number two is... Number two has to be little combiners, or combiners in, in general, um, but specifically the ones where they are individual characters that actually have their own robot modes and vehicle modes, but then they combine together to make one robot. I've always been that is a gimmick at the same time it is that that's the whole idea of these teams so like Devastator etc uh, you know um, Menasaur uh, Computron etc you've got all these different ones that are bigger um, but I've always been a fan of ones where they are transformable characters that have their own individual robot modes that come together to make a figure so here's this one isn't really a big fan favorite but this is the minicon combiner i've got here um it has a couple of gimmicks within it it has one gimmick where you can combine all the individual weapons to make one big one um, and then you've also got three individual robot modes um some of them are on this one you know you get the guy the guy who's the legs they got the the, you know, the guy who makes the chest, the arms. So this is three, three little minicon, minicon figures that makes one figure. And it's fully articulated, posable to a point, but I've always been a fan of that sort of a, a, an idea within bringing individual little characters that combine to make one big robot. Um, yeah, you just got to love that. And coming in at number one. Now number one, my all-time favourite gimmick. I don't have everything because this this line is... Some people do not like the animated series that it's based upon. But at the same time, the toys are usually incredibly brilliant. Uh, and I'm, of course I'm talking about the Unicron Trilogy. But I am a big fan of the Armada toy line. Um, and a big fan of the whole Minicon, Minicon gimmick. Um, so, just to give you a reference point, I have Cyclonus here. Um, love this figure. But what I like is that where they've got like a little tank or a little car or what have you that you can buy separately plugs into these little ports on the sides and it gives you access to weapons some of them hidden and some of them where you can release a missile that this guy has I absolutely adore absolutely adore this gimmick on this line um, I share the same temperament with a lot of people with that um, but I also like the idea where you've got some that, that where I haven't got them anymore. I used to have them when I was a kid. Um, where you've got fr like a team of them that combine to make like a big sword. Um, so you've got, I've forgotten the name of it now, but uh, I for yeah, I've forgotten the name of it now. But yeah, so you kind of get like ones that combine to make a sword, which any, uh, any of like the leaders or up like Prime or Megatron can hold um, and also you've got these little ones that have their own little robot modes um, and they're pretty cute little things like scooters, skateboards, things like that and they just attach to a coexisting figure within that line again to reveal a hidden weapon or a hidden 
or to, to, to launch a missile or something like that. I adore that line. So number one has to be the Armada Minicon gimmick. So there we have it. Thank you very much for watching this video, people. Hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more of this sort of content, leave a comment below. If you agree with what I say, if you disagree with what I say, if you've got any other gimmicks that you personally really enjoy that wasn't a part of this top five, please feel free to mention them in the comments. Um, and thank you very much for watching. So until next time, stay awesome. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.